today I'm going to share with you a recipe from my new cookbook. It's spicy hoisin stir-fried pork with vegetables. So we're going to do that with steamed rice, so why don't we get started with that first. So remember, always use a pan that's at least two-thirds more than the volume of the rice, so you'll have a chance to get ahead of steam. I'll generally use between a quarter and a half cup of raw rice per person, realizing that it's going to double in bulk as it cooks. And what you'll do is you'll put in enough water so that when you touch the top of the rice, like that, it covers the first joint of your index finger. So don't touch the bottom of the pan. Touch the top of the rice. There we go. And what we'll do is we'll just put this on our burner and we're going to bring that to a boil covered. As soon as it begins to bubble or steam, what you'll want to do is turn the heat down to low. And if you wait just for 10 minutes or 15 minutes, if you want, like your rice a little softer, it will be steamed. But don't take the cover off because if you do that, the steam escapes and you're basically just boiling the outside of the rice. You're not actually steaming the rice under pressure. So we'll try to remember that that's on there. And let's move over to the pork. What we want to do with the pork is we're going to uh, marinate it and, and, and tenderize it a little bit. And what I'm using is, um, is a um, boneless southern style spare ribs. And if you'll notice, there's a grain to the meat. And what we want to do is we want to cut across the grain. So the grain is going this way on the meat. You see that there? And so we're going to cut it across the grain and that will keep it tender. So usually the spare ribs come in a, uh, in a strip like this. So I'm going to cut that strip right in half. And here I am. I'm going to cut across the grain. And this is probably eighth inch thick slices. There we go. And to that, we're going to add some rice wine and some cornstarch just to coat that. We're going to put that right in a, in a Ziploc bag. Tablespoon of cornstarch. And a couple tablespoons of rice wine. So this this is um, Shaoxing rice wine, which is a classic Chinese wine, and it's um, a cooking wine generally. It uh, is made from toasted rice. So let me just get my hands off a little bit here. And what we'll do is we're just going to put this marinade in here. So this pork is pretty close to room temperature. So you want to take it out of the refrigerator a little bit so that it warms up. You don't want to stir fry with really cold ingredients because that cools everything down. Yeah. So we'll just set that aside until we're ready for it. So 
So here's our wok and I always preheat my wok because what you want to do is you want to make sure that the wok is hot before you put oil in. What happens is the surface of the wok opens up uh, kind of microscopically when you, uh, when you heat it so that when you put the oil in it actually will slightly sink into and bake into the surface of the wok. And what we're going to do is we're going to flavor our oil with ginger and garlic. And I like to use avocado oil because it gets to 500 degrees before it starts to smoke. So it's, um, it's um, really good for stir frying. It, it doesn't break down easily. So I'm just going to put in a couple tablespoons right there. We'll get that to heat up. And what you want is you want it to, um, to shimmer. So you want it to be hot enough so it's shimmering. So I don't know if you can see it yet or not, but um, the surface of the oil is beginning to, uh, to move a little bit. And that's, that's from the heat. So let's, um, let's take some fresh ginger. This is, you can pick this up right at the produce department in most grocery stores. And we are going to smash that. Whoa, that was exciting, wasn't it? Okay, let me get onto the big surface here. There we go. So doing that, that, that you can see it breaks up the uh, the, the ginger and it releases a lot of the flavor. So there we go. And let's do the same thing to our garlic. There we go. And what we'll do is we're going to, with the ginger and the garlic flavoring the oil, we're also going to put in carrot. We're going to just cut that into half inch size. This is called a roll cut. And I'm cutting it at a 45 degree angle, but I'm rolling it in between each cut. So you heard the uh, rice, what came to a boil, we didn't panic. We just turned it down to low, we kept the cover on, so that will keep cooking. So let's put in our carrot. Get that nice sizzling. And let's put in our ginger and our garlic to flavor that oil. So we'll just give that a stir. So what's nice about the wok, because of the shape, is that any liquid or oil will always go to the hottest part of the wok. So things tend to not burn when you cook them in high temperature uh, with the wok. I'm not telling you that you can't burn things in a wok. You can, and I have. But it's less likely to do that. So we put those carrots in first because we want them to cook up. We want them to soften up a little bit. So when you uh, stir fry, it's, it's, a, it's a good practice to time your ingredients based on how long you want them to cook with the things that you want to cook longest going in first. There we go. And the carrots, you know, they have a little liquid in them, so they're gonna keep that heat down so that the garlic, which can burn, uh, won't. And before we even get to that point, what we'll do is we're gonna put in some onions. People generally like their onions to be sweet. I'm putting in the equivalent of a medium onion. And I like to use red onions. They look nice. 
And they have a slightly stronger flavor than the yellow onions. One more, there we go. And you can see the carrots, they've started to brown up a little bit. So we'll put in our onions. And that sizzling sound is exactly what you want when you stir fry. You don't want things to be really wet. So we're going to be having a sauce later that we'll be adding, the hoisin sauce. But you add that at the end so you don't cool that process down. There we go. And this is on high heat, just so you'll know. Um, so, our meat has been marinating. So here we go. Got that nice sizzling sound. That wine smells great. So we'll spread this in a layer. There we go. So you can you can kind of imagine that if this were if the meat had been refrigerated, it would have stopped that sizzling. So you don't want you don't you don't want to have it cold. And because it's cut up, it's gonna cook pretty quickly. So let's Take from the outside in, you can kind of see the pork that's in the middle down here has already started to brown. And the combination of the, the wine and the cornstarch is giving it a light glaze. So it's coating it and it's sealing in a lot of that moisture, the juices. All right. So while that's finishing up, let's put in some, <coughs> put in some um, sweet red peppers. And what I do is I just cut the pepper in half and I just kind of rip out the core, take the seeds out. There we go. And we'll just, I like to cut things up into what I call chopstick sized pieces. So, you know, half inch, an inch. Let's give this one more stir. See how quickly that pork has cooked up. Again, that sizzling will continue, which is great. Again, all on high heat, and you can kind of see how dry that process is as I kind of push out from the middle. There's not a lot of liquid there. All right. So let's cut up some scallions. Again, as before, I like to save this part so we can plant that, get some more scallions. And what I'll do is I'm going to cut this, again, in chopstick-sized pieces, maybe an inch, half inch. 
I like to do it at an angle. There you go. So what's going to happen now is that heat is going to release the flavor of the scallions. Still on high heat. And what I'm going to do now is I'm going to add my sauce. And you're going to find out that as soon as I do this, we're going to lose our sizzling, which is fine. So the pork is cooked, the carrots are nice and soft. And let's go with soy sauce. And hoisin. Equal parts of soy sauce and hoisin. So it's about three tablespoons. And the last thing I'm going to add will be my spice, which will be, so you can see that's quieted down quite a bit. We got a nice glaze. It smells pretty good too. Some hot sesame oil. And uh, so this is sesame oil that's been heated with uh, hot chili pepper. I'm gonna put in about a teaspoon if you don't want the heat, you can actually get sesame oil that's not spicy. Just regular toasted sesame oil. And if you like it hotter, just add another teaspoon or two. So that is done. I'm going to shut my wok right off. All right. And I think I've been... Uh, talking enough so that the rice should be just about ready. So let's, all right. So steamed rice. got my chopsticks so I'm gonna to have to go with a fork so let's give this a try so the pork should be nice and tender it's kind of hot mmm I don't know whether it's hot temperature or spiciness a little bit of both so that's it for now. Thanks for stopping by and we'll see you next time.